G'day Anchor viewers, it's Mickey here from Aussie Fly Fisher and I'm here to talk to you today about a very simple but important concept and that's mending your fly line. Now, you can be the best caster in the world but if you can't mend properly, you won't be able to, to deliver dry flies, nymphs or streamers in an effective manner that's going to get fish to eat them. We're going to go through why you want to mend and how you're going to mend. To start off with, I'm going to show you why you want to do a mend. Now, I've got a big piece of fluff here that we're going to say is a big dry fly, and I'm going to cast it across the other side of the river. Now, this river looks quite even, the currents are all pretty well the same, and when I cast across like this, you can see that dry fly lands on the surface nicely. Okay? But if I don't do anything, it's going to drag across the surface. It's going to skate. Now, if we want to represent something that's just floating downstream and it hasn't got any type of movement on it, so let's say a dun or something like that, what we want is a drag-free drift for this dry fly in this instance. And you can see behind me, as that fly starts to drift, it starts to drag, it looks unnatural. Fish might still grab it from time to time, but generally we want to start off with a drag free drift. Now this is where our mend is going to come in. What I'm going to do is cast across the river just like I've been doing. I'm going to lift my rod and push my line over. Now you can see that dry fly floating down the current as if it's not attached to anything at all. That's what we call a drag free drift. So just by lifting my rod, and pushing my line over, I create a big belly of line. And that belly of line gets pushed by the current and it takes time for it to reach the fly and start pushing on the fly and making it behave unnaturally. This doesn't just work for dry flies either. If this was an indicator or a bobber and I wanted those nymphs to get nice and deep and I didn't do a mend, what's gonna happen when I cast across stream is that indicator or bobber is going to skate and it's going to pull those nymphs up to the surface. Now again, sometimes that might work, but in general, we want to start off by getting them as deep as humanly possible. So again, with an indicator reed, with nymphs, I pass this across, lift and push. That way those nymphs are going to drift nice and deep, they're really going to get down to the fish. Now, You'll notice when I lift and push to do these mends, I do it nice and firmly and nice and slowly. That's one of the keys to mending. If you try and do it really low, you don't get as an effective a mend, and what tends to happen is you pull that dry fly across the surface very violently, which can just spook fish, or you kick up line like you kick up line on the water and you create that splash too, which isn't any good either. So what you want to do for every man to start off with is to come up, stop, and push over. That creates a nice big man. Now in this case, I'm creating upstream men because I want to reduce the drag on the fly. You notice the current's coming down here. I mend upstream against the current. You can also mend downstream if you we might do this in certain situations where perhaps we're streamer fishing or steelhead fishing or doing anything else that involves making a fly move. So if I want that fly to move, I might mend downstream and create more drag. Now that's great sometimes when there are caddis hatching, they skitter across the surface. A bit of movement on those is fantastic. So it's not just the upstream men that you want to have in your arsenal. You want to be proficient at a downstream men too. Now the last aspect of mending that you want to look at is multiple mends. So if I do one mend here, so a single upstream mend, I'm going to get a really, really good drift. That's one, two, three, man, that's nearly four meters of drift off one mend. But now I've started to drag as I get to the tail out of this pool. So if I do my initial cast, then I'm going to get a really good drift. Now about midway through my drift, I'm going to come up and over again and mend again. I did get a little bit of movement there on the fly, but I gained another two meters of drift down the back end of this pool. 
So you can do as many mends as you have to to keep your fly in the zone and drifting along nicely. Or, say midway through a drift like this, which I've already done two, now three upstream mends in, I want to speed the fly up, I can throw a downstream mend in, and I can change completely what that fly is doing. Mending allows you to control your fly no matter how far away you are from it. It lets you induce action to get takes and it lets you get really long dead drifts to get a dry fly going past a fish without creating any disturbance or to get nymphs really deep. It's a really fantastic tool to use. There's a lot of different variations. We've looked at the upstream and downstream here today but you can do all types of different fun ones like little wiggle mans or feeding but that might come in a more advanced one later on. Have a good one, Anchor Crew. Mickey out. Ha, ha, ha.